what I mean You too, team, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right engraving Right engraving you know, I'm not really somebody that's always got to keep up with the latest trends and watch what everybody's watching and be into what everybody's into. But one thing that I finally got into, and I actually really liked it, was the movie Frozen. And I'm sure plenty of y'all have seen that already, especially y'all with kids. Even some of y'all that don't got kids probably love the movie. But I enjoyed it a lot. And, of course, I had heard all the songs, the, the, the Do You Want to Build a Snowman song, but one song that stuck out to me from that movie, which everybody knows is the song, Let It Go. Let It Go. And, of course, it's about Anna and Elsa and them just dropping their beef that they had, the issues that they had. But I really wish that Calvin Austin would sit down and watch the movie and put himself in the shoes of either Anna or Elsa, and then put the Baltimore Ravens in the shoes of the one that he didn't choose. Because this is just, this is overboard for me. I, I really think this is a little overkill with uh, him maybe needing some motivation or something, or him looking for retribution against the Baltimore Ravens. Th this, this was an article that's been floating around, because we all know the story from before. How the Ravens were apparently interested in Calvin Austin. They wanted to draft him, but the Steelers were a couple of spots ahead of them. And the Steelers ended up taking him uh, in spite, no, to spite the Baltimore Ravens. But this article, it just, <laughs> it's just, let's, let's, just get, let's get to it. And I'll link it in the description too. Uh, it says, one player who has been in the locker room for a year but has yet to put on the pass for a professional game is wide receiver and speedster Calvin Austin III. He appears to be almost 100% healthy after a foot injury cost him his entire rookie season. So, he is going into his second year. So keep that in mind. The draft from two years ago. Two, not this past year. Two years ago. But anyway, let's, let's keep it going. It says... Um, the pass catcher out of the University of Memphis ran a 4-3-2 in a 40 at the 2022... Uh, da, 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 we don't need to read that part. So, fast forward to the 2023 NFL Draft and division rival Baltimore Ravens selected Boston College wide receiver Zay Flowers with the 23rd overall pick. I thought it was the 22nd overall pick. But uh, I guess they, they had a little... Anyway, uh, Flowers is smaller in stature and, rough, and at roughly 5'10 uh, and 172 pounds, he ran a 4-4-2 in a 40 at his respective combine. Flowers and Austin are very similar in size, but they make up for it with elite speed. So here we go. We get into it now. It came to light in 2022 after the draft that Baltimore wanted Austin with the 139th overall pick, but the Steelers had 138, and Mike Tollin and company ended up stealing him away. Uh, the Ravens clearly didn't think highly enough of Austin given the fact that they also had the 130th overall selection, but they went on to draft Hunter Jordan Stout. Now, I remember being a little bit frustrated about that because I'm like, y'all really like had an opportunity. To, there's a receiver that y'all liked, that y'all wanted, and y'all chose to draft a punter instead. And again, everybody got their draft boards. Everybody got their big board and who they like and who, where they value them at and whatnot. But it's like you really valued a punter over a receiver. But I, hey, I'm not a GM, right? But anyway, um, so that part, I... He could feel disrespected, like, like y'all really took a punter over me? Y'all want to... But then I'm thinking, hold up now. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Because that was in the fourth round. How many rounds passed before that? First, second, and third. So for this, like, I feel like it's almost like fake animosity toward the... Every team passed over you at least three times. At least three... At least three times. So I, I just feel like he's maybe looking for like an edge or something, looking for something to like sort of motivate him in, at this point in his career. And, hey, look, it ain't nothing wrong with that. We all need motivation in different ways, but I feel like this is like, ah, uh, let it go, my friend. But anyway, let's keep going. It says, heading into the 2023 season, the Ravens' decision to take Stout can't be criticized, so cannot be criticized. Uh, he had a solid rookie season that included 26 punts inside the 20. For Pittsburgh, Austin didn't make an impact and watched every game in street clothes. Oof. It's rough how they put it, but it's true. That doesn't mean the second-year wide receiver won't prove Baltimore's front office wrong, though. Now, here we go. In a recent conversation with Brian Batco of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, Austin discussed the AFC North's rival decision to pass on him with the 130th overall pick 
in the hopes that he would be there at 139. And this is what he said. Man, I'd be lying if I said I haven't been thinking about that. Uh, it's wild. It's one of those things where you know, obviously, I'm blessed and I'm just so 100% glad that I came here. I'd be lying if I said that that hasn't been on my mind since the draft, since that came out. And again, like, again, it's something that they think about. We, we all think about the what ifs, what could have been, what you may feel should have been and whatnot. Um, but again, I guess, may, I guess maybe since the, the Ravens are in the AFC North, then he, he's making it personal. Since they were actually interested in him, um, then he's making it personal with them. But at the same time, I'm like, well, isn't it personal with all 31 other teams? Because you play wide receiver, and you can think, hey, like, why didn't any of these teams pick me? That, like, that, that would be my thinking. But, but I get it, because you're going to play Ravens at least twice a year. So you may be, hey, I'm going to show y'all why y'all should have drafted me. But a lot of times you hear wide receiver, especially wide receivers. You know wide receivers are some of the most um, emotional players on the team. But with wide receiver, I would think that the, 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 what he would apply would be like, all right, I'm going to show all – all 31 other teams, why they should they should have drafted me? They shouldn't have passed over me. They shouldn't have skipped over me. They should have ran that card up with my name on it, way ahead of time. But I mean, I, I guess I get it why he's doing it to the Ravens, because the whole thing came out that they were interested, and the Ravens end up moving in a different direction. But I, I guess he, he he's making it personal to him. So the Ravens took a punter instead of him. They had an opportunity to draft him. But again, I, I, again, and maybe my thinking is just I'm thinking to NFL in general, because again, I just keep going back. Like, hey, 32, to, including the team that you're on, the Steelers passed over you too. Like, so uh, it could be real personal with them. Like, hey, Steelers, let me show you why y'all should have been drafted me. Y'all should have got me in the first, the second, the third, something. Y'all should have been drafted me. So if it's personal with the Ravens, make it personal with the Steelers too. Make it personal with the Bengals, make it personal with the Brown, make it personal with everybody. Because it should be. This should apply to everybody. But he also said, it's personal. <laughs> I hadn't even read that part of the article yet. It said, it's personal, Austin admitted. But that will all be settled out. Lord willing, this year and the times we see them, I just have it circled. Crazy. A punter. Huh? So again, hey, look. I, I, I get it, but it's at the same time, I don't get it, but... Hey, whatever works for you, works for you. So hopefully this, this does give Calvin Austin the third that extra motivation that uh, it seems like he's looking for. Hopefully, um, hopefully he can do his thing. Not against the Ravens, but just in, in general, and he can have a nice, successful career. I think maybe um, when Ravens were interested in him, uh, maybe they envisioned the Hollywood replacement because that was that draft, uh, but they didn't even draft the receiver at all. Like, at all. I guess Ravens just were like, you know what? We traded Hollywood away. Receivers, mishmeepers. We ain't, we ain't worried about no receivers this year. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Anyway, I don't even want to think about that. But, yeah. So, anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And shout out to Calvin Austin III, man. You, that, I'm glad you, you, you can find motivation in something. Because, seriously, all jokes aside... Uh, it is important that we, we find ways to continue to keep ourselves motivated, especially uh, if we may have not achieved what we want to achieve, um, especially if we're not where we want to be at in life. It's, it's important to stay motivated so we can continue uh, to elevate and just get better at whatever it is that you're doing. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream.